what makes Loudoun County unique is that we have managed to preserve a very lovely landscape that really reflects its history. We have rolling hills, we have beautiful stone walls, palatial mansions, as well as these lovely historic downtowns like Leesburg. It's a large area, but it feels like a small hometown. Very nice restaurants, um, wonderful clothing stores. Meet interesting people every day, come you know, from all over the country. And this is Flo. Flo is our silent partner. I mean, people stop and take pictures with Flo all the time. Um, we had somebody jump out of the car this morning and give her a big kiss and then jump back in their car. Actually, Jill was looking around the general area to see where the most concentration of antique stores and craft stores were. Leesburg came up with a, you know, an area of uh, pretty good concentration. So. And area of natural beauty. And yes. <laughs> a hot spot, an antiquing hot spot. It's a great strolling town, it's a great walking town. There's a lot of history that's visible just walking around downtown. In the Loudoun Museum, we currently house over 7,000 artifacts and objects. At one point, it was a funeral home and a furniture store at the same time. You will see a lot of uh, Revolutionary War history and a lot of Civil War in Leesburg. Loudoun County was actually one of the first to openly defy Parliament. They had several men join on the courthouse and they took a vote saying that they would no longer trade um, with Great Britain or have anything to do with her. So we have buildings dating to the early 1700s. We have wonderful federal style architecture, colonial architecture, uh, Victorian architecture in our buildings here. Harrison Hall is the only place where Robert E. Lee met with his youngest son during the Civil War and his, um, it was the last time he spoke to his son before he died. At Harrison Hall, there's one section of that house that is a very old and very early log cabin. And when James Dickey was writing his famous novel, Deliverance, he rented that portion of the house. The Methodist Cemetery is the site, you can still see the foundation, of the first Methodist church planted in the United States. There are some wonderful old headstones, some of the earliest graves in Loudoun County can be found there. Here there's a lot of history, a lot of buildings, a lot of stories, um, so it's a wonderful place to visit.